Welcome to Excel Dictionary's YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to create and use a data form in Excel. A data form is a form that is synced up with your data table, and all the data entered in the data form will automatically be added into your Excel data table. Not only is a data form great for preventing errors, but it can also be used to edit a data entry, delete a data entry, or find a specific data entry. Let's get started. Let's say my boss asked me to create a data table with every employee's name, start date, department, and office in the table. So here on my screen, I've started creating the table, and instead of continuing to enter the name, start date, and department, and office in their individual columns, I'm gonna go ahead and create a data entry form. The first step is to add the data form tool to your quick access toolbar. Your quick access toolbar is a toolbar that you can customize with whatever commands you want. So my toolbar is located right here. And as you can see, I chose to have flash fill on my quick access toolbar. And if you don't have the most up to date version of office, your quick access toolbar is probably right here. And then so now we need to add the data form tool to our quick access toolbar. So one way to do that is to select this little drop down on your toolbar and select more commands, but I'm gonna actually go ahead and go to file, select options, select quick access toolbar. And now here are all of the popular commands that you can add to your toolbar. But for the data form, we are going to need to select this drop down and select all commands. And now we are going to scroll down to form There it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit add to add the form to our quick access toolbar. And one last thing, you wanna make sure that this check mark is checked or else your quick access toolbar will be hidden and you won't be able to see the form button. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And now we have the data form tool on our quick access toolbar. The next step would to be convert our data into an Excel table. To do that, I'm going to select any cell on the data table and then go to the Home tab, and you can select Format as Table, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the keyboard shortcut, so I'm gonna hit Control T, and now the Create Table dialog box popped up. So we wanna make sure everything looks good here, and so in this case, Excel actually didn't recognize the range of our table, so we wanna go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just reselect our data table here, and then our table, data table does have headers, so I'm going to leave this checked, and then I'm going to hit OK. Now that our data is formatted in an Excel table, we are ready to create the data form. First, I'm just going to update the fill color of the headers because it's a little bit hard to see. That's better. So now to create the data form, I'm going to simply select any cell within the data table and hit the Form button on the Quick Access Toolbar. Now we have successfully created the data form. Let's take a closer look at it. Each row on the data form represents a column in the data table. This is because when you input data in that field, it's going to be placed under that column in the data table. So upper in the upper right hand corner, we have the number of entries here. So we have eight entries in the data table, and this is the first entry. The new button is used to input new data entries onto the table. So if we wanted to add a new data entry onto the table, we would select this new button. The delete button is used to delete out a data entry. The restore button is used for whenever we're editing existing entries. So let's say I accidentally deleted the R in Emma's name and I wanna restore it back to the original data entry. I can go ahead and hit restore and that R was placed back in there for us. The Find Previous and Find Next buttons are used to move to the previous and next data entries in the table. So Find Next, we can move to the second entry, and then Previous brings us back to the first. And lastly, we can search for certain data entries in the table using the Criteria button. So let's say we wanted to look at the people who are in the Pittsburgh office. We could use the Criteria button and search for the Pittsburgh office locations. Let's go ahead and add a new employee to our data table. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the new button and manually input the data for the new employee. I'm just gonna go ahead and make this up. 
start date of 113. And now whenever we're done entering our data, we can just go ahead and hit new. And Mike Mann's data was automatically entered into the bottom of our data table. Let's take a look at how the criteria button works. Let's say we want to search our data table for employees that work in the IT department. We can do that using the criteria button. So I'm going to go ahead and select the criteria button. And now I'm simply going to input IT for the department. And I'm going to move this over here so we can see the data table. And now I'm simply going to hit find next. And the data entry form pulled up the first entry for IT in the data table. And then we can go ahead and go ahead and hit next. And as you can see, it skipped down to the next employee that works at IT. And then lastly, down to Mike Mann, who is the last employee that worked in IT. So you can actually use the data entry form to search for specific data entries within your data table. Now, lastly, let's just go ahead and delete Mike Mann out because I made up that employee. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to Mike Mann and simply hit delete and then hit OK. And now Mike Mann was automatically deleted from our data table. If you have to enter a lot of data manually into Excel, I highly recommend creating a data entry form. The data entry form is easier to understand and prevents errors. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below.